guys, Blackjack here with the Guns, Guns, and More Guns channel. Uh, today we're on the range with the North American Arms Pug. Uh, this is a gun that I had purchased um, because, well, I've wanted one for a very long time. Um, and I have been shooting it a little bit. Uh, and i got to be honest, it's a lot of fun to shoot. So it's not obviously the most accurate gun and a little bit of that is me too. Um, but for those of you that are unfamiliar with the North American Arms Pug, it's uh, basically about as small as a package as you're going to get in any kind of, I guess, like lethal weapon, like lethal firearm. Uh, they do make these uh, and North American Arms make several of these types of, of fine little guns. Um, they come in everything from 22 short and this one's a 22 Magnum. Um, so uh, I haven't seen any 17 HMR. That doesn't mean they don't make them. I, I just haven't seen any. If anyone can correct me on that, I'd, I'd be glad to see them. Um, but in order to load and unload these, since I did just uh, fire a few rounds off, and I'll do my best to show you, you kind of have to pull down and twist on this. And maybe I'll get up on the tabletop too to show you a little bit better. Pull your hammer back just a bit. Cylinder comes out, and you do have to use this little pokey guy. To get your bullets out or your spent casings so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna reload this thing and let's shoot it some more all right so um for those of you that are wondering we're shooting i'm shooting the uh the, the hornady 30 grain v max ammunition um i this is just kind of the stuff that i added to the cart when i bought the gun i've yet to buy more of it if any of you out there have one of these guns and you've had some success uh, with various types of 22 Magnum ammunition, I'd like to hear about it in the comments. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slow fire it and I'm going to see what kind of groups I might be able to get out of this thing at this distance. Uh, I don't know, seven yards we'll call it. All right, so I was holding uh, kind of low, um, low center on that far right target, and I only hit it three times. So it, this is obviously a pretty good distance for a gun this size. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reload this thing again real quick, and uh, I'm going to do some fast fire on it. All right, so for those of you that just watched that, I'm probably going to fast forward through that whole sequence. This is not a fast reload gun, um, but let's see how quickly I can shoot it. Mind you, I have very little practice with this gun. I've had this out to the range one other time before this to actually shoot this review, um, but I just I didn't like the way it came out. The camera angles were all fucky and everything. I'm out here by myself. Um, you know, Krugers are home. We're in the midst of this COVID pandemic in mid-May 2020 right now, so we're kind of having some trouble linking up shooting our reviews, but let's do some fast fire. So you can put five of those rounds out pretty quickly. Uh, I mean, again, I, I've, I've fired less than 100 rounds through this gun already, although it is easy to burn a box of ammo. Last time I came out here, I burned a whole box of ammo before I even noticed it, because it is a lot of fun to shoot. Um, you know, part of the reason I got this gun um, was because, as I had previously mentioned, we are kind of in the midst of the, uh, the COVID pandemic of 2020, the dumpster fire of a year that we're having so far with all this shit. Um, so with that my gym closed and so I had to start running outside with my legs and my feet Terrible But with the gym closing and me being outside also brought a lot of other people outside and I live in It's a pretty decent neighborhood But a lot of people out walking their dogs didn't seem to have very good control of them And when I'm out running and I've got my kid with me it was the second time two different dogs had lunged at him before I decided I'm not going to let a dog grab a hold of my kid and have nothing but my bare hands in the middle of a run to stop him. So I bought this and I bought a little arm sleeve off of Amazon so that when I go running I can have a gun. I bought this to be a jogging gun. Now I know there are belly bands, I've got a Ruger LCP, there are other options out there. It would probably work better um, or as good as this. 
Um, but you know, don't steal my thunder. I just, I need an excuse to buy one of these. I've wanted one forever. So, um, later on in this video, I will actually do a quick review of, of me doing a quick run with this thing. Um, but let's shoot it again. Cause I love shooting. I'll be honest, I still have not figured out where to hold the sights, how to adjust the sights. I'll try and get a better close-up of this, um, but it's just got this big dot um, sight. So I'm going to load this thing up one more time. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to put some more rounds through it, and then uh, we'll take it for a run. So reloading it kind of doesn't it's not that bad um but you know i mean it is surprisingly easy to burn a box of ammo with this and 22 mags not all over the place so um i don't i'm not gonna try any trick shots i'm just gonna try and fast shoot this again um obviously we're just out here kind of screwing around giving you guys some footage of this thing shooting if you're thinking about it um it obviously is incredibly small i'm not like a i don't have big hands they're kind of the average lower size of average um and my hand can completely cover this thing up um, so, I mean, it is tiny, um, very easy to conceal, very lightweight, and it is a very well-made little gun. Um, but let's get some more shooting done with it. Swing. I'm going to have to fix my targets up after that. All right, guys. Well, you know what? That's it. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, maybe get you some close-ups on the table, uh, take the gun for a run, and see how it does. All right, so... Here I am, about the two-mile point turnaround. I've got the uh, pistol that's been riding there the entire time. Uh, so far, so good. Um, you know, it moves around a little bit. This is my second or third uh, run that I've done with it. So, um, show you guys that I'm not bullshitting. I actually don't roast on my two-mile time. I am a fat guy. But, um, you know, I am actually out here doing it and testing it out and everything, like I said. The armband is kind of kind of nice, um, but you know I've seen them that go on your wrist, and I'm almost wondering if that would be better. But uh, I'm gonna bang out some tricep dips, a couple box jump on these benches back here, and uh, head home. All right, so that was uh, four miles with the um, the armband on. Um, you know, back to the house now, and so. Um, you know, it did slip a little bit, um, so, you know, I don't know if there's probably better, um, you know, devices out there, I guess, for carrying on your arm like this, but, I mean, I keep, you'd say I keep my, my phones on one arm, and then, you know, it's gun on the other, I can get to it, you know, reasonably quickly, um, you know, and that's probably about as quickly as you're gonna, well, as quickly as I can get to it without really practicing that much. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, so far it seems like it's going to work. Um, if anybody else is doing something similar and has any suggestions, uh, you know, I'm welcome to hear them. You know, if you have any, anything else you think that might work for what I'm trying to do, I've seen the ones that go around the neck. I'm not sure how that would do with the, uh, you know, rubbing and chafing and shit. Um, but yeah, if any, like I said, anyone has any suggestions, let me know. All right, guys, so that was a review of our North American Arms Pug. Uh, since the review has been shot and, you know, I took the gun on a run with my phone and showed you guys what I was doing and everything, I have owned this gun for probably about two months now. Um, and I've shot less than two boxes of 22 mag through it. And the only stuff I have fired through this gun has been the Hornady, uh, the VMAX, whatever the hell ammo that I bought when I purchased the gun. Uh, so if any of you have any suggestions on different 22 mag to try with this gun, I would really like to hear it because I'd like to go out and maybe try some different loads, see if I could, you know, basically if any of them are more accurate, if any of them seem to hit harder or anything like that, I, I guess as hard as a 22 mag out of a small little barrel can hit, um, you know, but uh, you know, I look forward to shooting this some more. Uh, if we have any updates I feel are worthwhile on this gun, or if anyone has any experience with it, we'd love to hear about it in the comments section. But otherwise, stay safe. We'll see you on the range.